Hello! Welcome back to the studio. I promised you a big resin piece, and this is the one we're going to do. I'm so excited! Okay, today we are going to be doing, uh, we're gonna, these are the colors we're going to use. First of all, this is uh, Resin Art Luster Pigments, and they're from ColorArt.com, but it's spelled differently than you might think. It's C-O-L-O-U-R-A-R-T-E.com. And this is in the resin section. So, I've already done a piece with these colors, and I was madly in love with it. It was for a local show this past weekend, and I was going to show it to you today, but it sold. <laughs> so, that's good news, but I did want to show it to you. But I'm using exactly the same colors. Oh, wait, here's a picture of that piece. Okay, so with those colors, that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, Blue Moon. Purple Sapphire, Golden Diamond, Surf's Up, and Puppy Love. And I'm going to be making my pour very similar to the pour that I made on the piece you just saw. But first, I'm going to put some black resin down. And I've been doing some resin in here today. And this resin is really warm, so it's about ready to go. So I need to get this on here. a different resin that I'm used to. I tried it because the price was nice, but it is a countertop epoxy and it moves very quickly. I do want it to go over the sides, but not right this second. soak into the wood first because that's my reason for doing this okay I just wanted to check the center there to see how thick we were yeah it's starting to thicken up I can tell whoops there it goes Ooh, it's getting really warm We gotta hurry. All right, double fist in it. And I don't care if it goes underneath because I'm gonna be resining the back side as well when this is all done. I just wanna seal it really well. See it getting all, it's getting sticky now. Good thing this is a runny resin because I'm needing that action right now. I could heat it back up, but I don't want to. I just want time to get this on the edges, and then I want to be able to get my torch on it. Oof, it's getting muddy. Okay, sides covered, mostly. I don't know why I'm reaching over there. i got a turntable today. Come on now. All right, I gotta get these gloves off and then we're gonna torch this. Torch it again in a second, but I wanna spread some more of this. I'm gonna have to heat this up again, so let me get my gun. Alright. thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a bottom it's a background to what I'm gonna pour I just want it to be slick and pretty much cover everything 
I can see a line right here. I don't know if you can see that where it found uh, a gap in the pine board that was glued together, which is fine. Go right in there and fill it up. That's what we want. It's looking pretty good. I just need to get some more bubbles out and I'm gonna let this sit. Okay, just one more span to pull the resin off the bottom so I don't have any drippies. Oh yeah, it's really getting thick. Okay, we're going to let this one sit. Okay, it is the next day and it worked out great. I got what I wanted from my uh, first cover coat. I'm so glad I did it and that's a prime example right there. If you can see that, I'm trying to find a place where I can maybe... I'm sure you can see it. If you can't, well, it's a huge line right here. This is pine board that's glued together, glue lamb, and then it's all sanded and you buy it this way. But there was a little bit of a crevice. I, I, it wasn't a deep crevice because there's no bleed through to the back where this resin went and filled, but it left a little stitch right here. So this top coat that I'm going to do with all my colors, the way it's supposed to work, because it's self-leveling, it'll just fill that in. That's the plan. But first, because of that, because of a few bubbles I have here, I'm going to do a light little sanding. Oh, but check this out. I threw it over here earlier as I was getting ready. And I was like, oh, it's a giant record album. That's freaking hilarious. Okay, so we're going to give it a light sanding. Don't worry, it won't hurt nothing. I'm just sanding where there was even a little hair over here somewhere. So it was just floating in the air. It's just going to give it a little tooth for the next layer to grab onto. This will not, even if I was just putting clear on this, you would not see this. Okay, I'm going to find that bubble that was on the edge. There it is. I see you. I always forget to buy hand sandpaper, so I have to steal it from... <laughs> from my other supply, but that's me putting it back. Now I'm going to wipe this down. This is alcohol, so just rubbing alcohol. Just getting any of the little dust pieces from the sanding we just did. I just noticed. Not that it's a big deal, I'm just a perfectionist. I don't want any bumps. I'm going to mix up my resin, get my colors mixed up all but one. I'm going to show you how to mix these, these resin tints or these resin art. Oh, they're beautiful from Color Art. And again, I will have that link below. All right, so I'll get to that. We'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to show you close up how this stuff works. All right, I'm using the purple sapphire. And again, this is the Resin Art Luster Pigments. You see that? Kind of. Let's try this. Okay, so with this, I've got the pigment in the cup here. As you can see, a little pigment there. And I'm just going to add enough. I've got 99% isopropyl alcohol here. I'm just going to add enough. just so that I can get it mixed completely. It's really runny, and I hate these little cups because if you hit that one of those little marks on the bottom, it'll flick it, so I've been flicking paint or pigment here for a minute. But this purple sapphire, it's crazy, it's beautiful. All right, so we're gonna put this in the resin. really well. Oh, 
these colors are so beautiful. I'm not kidding. They're absolutely beautiful. Now this is re resin is showing itself the way it showed it to me the first time when I used it. And it, it seemed awfully runny. Of course, right now there's a lot of alcohol in this, and it'll be gone in a minute, and it's fine. But it's still runnier than what I'm used to. So, say, if you're used to, say, art resin, and it, you get that, it's it's not thick, but it's not water either. Well, this, it's called uh, Promarine Supplies Epoxy. Um, and it comes in the A and the B. It's 50-50 mix. Um, but it sets itself up slightly thinner when you mix it together and you're pouring it, so be aware of that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And this puppy love, this deep red magenta is like... I can't get over how gorgeous it is. You'll see in a minute, because most of what I'm going to be doing here once I put it down on the substrate here is using my heat gun to blow it around after I put I'm gonna put it down in a pattern that I want first and then I'm gonna blow it around blue moon it's just this electric deep blue gorgeous and probably one of my favorites as with everybody surfs up it's so pretty and it's gonna be I've got a little bit more of this blue in here because it's going to be go down through the center. So, okay. Then off camera here, I've got a little tiny bit of black, and that wasn't from these uh, resin pigments. I happen to have some black resin tint that I'm using. Just a little tiny bit that I'm going to use as a stripe in this. Okay, let me get everything moved over. And I'm going to become really quiet, so what's going to happen is, even if I don't speed up the video, I'm going to become very quiet, so it'll just be music time. But basically what I'm going to do before I get going here is I'm going to pour a pattern here, and then I'm going to pour the opposite mirror pattern there with these colors. I'm going to put the blue, the uh, moon blue, on the sides here, kind of as a surrounding color, but basically the center is going to be that blue surfs up, and then these the colors, the red, the gold, and the purple, they're going to pull off of this blue because I'm going to put some clear underneath them to make them move more quickly and get them to blow out. Okay, I'm already seeing where i got some resin cups on here and I don't even care because we're going to resin now.
Oh, that was great. <laughs> Just dripped my fingers right on it. But I can take care of that. Actually, they're kind of cool. We're done. Gotta take this to the resin cage right now and <clears throat> get it as flat as possible. And we will take a look at it mañana. Just getting all the extra off the bottom so it doesn't slip out of my hands when I'm carrying it. <laughs> because I would be so mad. Okay, new gloves coming. Oh, I'm happy, 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 happy. Welcome back. It's been about six hours and I thought I would bring it out in the morning light to kind of give you a peek at it. it turned out really good. <clears throat> I've got a couple of little dimples, little tiny ones. So I'm going to do one more clear coat over this today. I am loving this one. Oh, thank you Color Art. Loving these resin tints so much. <laughs> yeah, the colors are just crazy. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. There's going to be more of this.